Hello and welcome back Techies, I am Sambhav here and in this video we are going to solve the assignment for the matrix which I gave you in the last video, last session, right? So if you have not set, if you have not seen my previous video, please don't forget to check them out and please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the updates on my latest upcoming videos. So in today's session we will just focus on solving the assignment which I have given you in the last video. Let's get started. So I asked you to create a matrix here uh, for student. The name of the matrix should be student and it should have uh, these four subjects physics, chemistry, maths, biology and then the four students name Ram, Shyam, Ramesh, Suresh based on which we had to solve all these six questions. So let's first start with creating a matrix. So what I will do is the first step would be I would create a vector for all these marks and I will assign those and assign the name as marks. Let it be a vector. So these are nothing but the questions which we are supposed to solve. So now we will use a combined function and here we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 45, 35, 70, NA. So I've already discussed about what is NA which is a missing value. 23, 29, NA is 45. 30, 35, 40, 45. So let's create it. Let me see if I can remember the values in the order. Let's let's get started. So it starts with 50, 60, 70, and 80. That was the value for the first row. And the second value, uh, second row value starts with 45. 10, 35 and then the third value was just a double of 35 which is 70 and then and there was a missing value then in the third row we had value like 23 20 sorry comma 29 and then there was a missing value so I will specify that as a missing value NA and it was uh, 45 I believe I believe 45 I'll check that out later and then the last row was pretty easy 30 35 40 45 correct uh, this has to be separated by a comma right so this was the value uh, this was the value of the matrix 23 29 40 and 45 yes I think I have uh, actually filled the values correctly so this is my marks vector right sorry marks vector right it is ready now i'm going to convert this into matrix so i'll give the matrix name as student and i'll use the function matrix and then i will use a vector which i have created earlier which is marks and then it has to be created into four by four that means four rows and four columns so i'll specify four rows and four columns now let's check the student matrix is it ready student and 45 yes the matrix looks fine right now I'll ha I will have to assign the names to the rows and columns that means the names to the dimensions so for that I will use the function dim names and the matrix name is student and then I will use the list which I have already told you earlier how to assign the names to the dimension of the matrix I'll use a list function and then first I will specify the row names. I'll use a combine. Row names consist of the name of the subjects. So let it be physics. And the second was chemistry. Third was maths. And then it was biology. And then I will assign the names of the student. That is the column names. So the first name was Ram. Second was Sham, third was your Ramesh, and the fourth one was Suresh. Suresh, right? And let's execute this. I hope my matrix would have got created successfully. Student, and yes. So the first part of the assignment is solved, that is, creating a matrix. Now we'll start solving this problem. The first question says, find the total marks obtained by all the students 
in chemistry and bio so i have to find the total of chemistry and bio that means second row and fourth row so what i'll do is i will specify the matrix name student and then i have to access the value for the chemistry and bio which is second row and fourth row i will use a combined function second two comma four and then i have to access all the values of the rows so i don't have to specify anything after the co uh, comma here so if you look at this it will give me the value now if i want i can i will now i have to find the sum the total so i will use the sum function on top of this and if i want i can also store the result so let me store the result of sum of uh, chemistry and bio right uh, sorry c h e m right now if i execute this it would calculate the sum of this uh, two subjects for all the students and when I execute it I'm getting NA now the reason why we have got NA is because there are missing values present so we will have to handle that NA dot RM is equal to true so if you don't know what is NA dot RM is equal to true please don't forget to uh, check out my previous video that is matrix part 2 where I have clearly discussed what is NA dot RM which is mainly used to handle the missing values now if I execute this code and see the result okay oh i have not selected oh that was a problem so it says it is 329 that means 60 plus 35 plus 29 plus 35 plus 80 plus 45 plus 45 is 329 so first question has been solved so if you have got the same result that means you have solved the question correctly second is find the total marks obtained by ram so sum of ram right now ram is the first column all the value of the first column so i have to find the total so i'll use a sum function for the student matrix and then i will have to use a square bracket to access the value so i'll give comma and i'll not specify anything before that because i have to access all the rows and ram is in the first column so i will specify that sum of ram and see we got the value 260 then we have the third question find the highest mark scored in biology so this is my biology subject and the highest marks which is 80 so I have to find the highest mark so I will give uh, max of bio and uh, I will use the function max because that will give me the highest value and then student square bracket to access the uh, bio uh, row so i have to access all the uh, column and the fourth row so i will give four comma and i think it should work uh, but it has got a na so i'll have to handle that na by using na dot rm is equal to two so if i execute this piece of code you see i've got the maximum value as 80 right find the total marks obtained by Shyam and Suresh so Shyam and Suresh that means all the rows and second column and the fourth column so sum of Shyam and Suresh right so I have to find sum and again the same method student square bracket now all the all the rows right so i will give comma and before comma i'll not specify that if you want you can specify one is to four to specify that uh, first row second row third row fourth row that also works very well and then sham and suresh which is your second column and the fourth column so i'll use combined function two comma four if you want you can also specify name here there's no problem i hope you remember in the previous video i have discussed that so let me do this using the name so s h y a m sham comma suresh right sham comma suresh so if i execute this i will get the result and let me again re-execute this part it is na why because of the missing value see sham has got a missing value 
So what I'll have to do is I will just have to use na dot rm is equal to true. Now I think it should give the result. See, it is three hundred, right? Find the top score in chemistry. The top score in chemistry. So let me execute student once again. So now we have to find the top score in chemistry. That means highest marks in this particular subject chemistry. So I will have to access all the uh, sorry all the columns and the second row, right? So let me give here max of chemistry. So I will use the max function here on my student matrix from where I'm going to access the second column and all the rows. So there is no missing value here, no any available. So I think this will give me the result. So if I execute this, you see I am getting the result as 60. So 60 is the highest mark, right? Uh, let's solve the last question, which is the sixth one. Find the maximum uh, mark scored by Shyam along all the subjects. So now we have to find the maximum of Shyam. Max underscore Shyam, right? Uh, I will use the function max and then the student matrix square bracket to access the value of sham that means all the rows and which column the second column if you want you can specify two or if you want you can also specify sham sham right uh, yes of course it has got a missing value so i will use na dot rn is equal to true right and let's execute this piece and see yes we have got that Sam has got 70 marks right so I hope you would have solved all the six questions and if you have any uh, if you think that you have solved see this same these questions can be solved in multiple ways for example you can specify it using the names you can access the elements of the matrix using name or using the index or the logical values whatever is correct so uh, please check your answers if you have done the same thing. Well done. Good job. Right. That will be all for today guys. Thank you so much for your time and patience. I hope you have enjoyed learning from this session. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for your time and patience and you have a wonderful day ahead.